Hi there, and welcome to SPF 30. Thank you for joining us. As you can see, us is just me, so I'm James. Um, SPF is Spiritual Physical Fitness for 30 minutes, so I'm excited for this time together. Let's open in a word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for another opportunity uh, to just come together um, online, Lord, those that are tuning in, and just uh, this opportunity here at Keswick to um, grow uh, physically, Lord, to grow in, our, uh, in health physically, but also to grow spiritually with you, Lord. So I pray that during this time we're able to do both of those. I trust that uh, we're going to enjoy each other's company and certainly uh, get to know you uh, in, a clearer, uh, in a clearer way today, Lord, um, and just uh, more in-depth, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to get into our warm-up uh, workout portion. So we're going to focus on our arms today, so biceps and triceps. We'll get a little bit of uh, the other upper body muscles involved as well, shoulders and chest. And then we'll get into our cool down with our stretching portion. But first, let's do our warm-up. We're going to have a wide stance, bending at the knees, down, hands out in front, and then bring them up over the head for one, down, two, down, three, good, four, deep breath in on the way down and let it out, five, six, good, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good, let's warm the shoulders up, forward circles, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, three more, three, two, one, good, reverse that, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, one, good, and let's do that first one one more time, wide stance, bend at the knees down, shoulders nice and high, one, down, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good. Okay, let's get into our workout. So we're gonna start with an exercise for biceps, okay? So that front muscle on your arm there. I'm gonna start with the lightest resistance with these uh, looped bands. Once again, if you don't have the looped bands, which I got online, you can also find them probably at any box store. Um, you can use the tube bands with the handles. You can use free weights. Uh, and you can also follow along if you don't have any equipment with just following the motion, okay? But what we're gonna do to start, both feet centered on the band, uh, straight bicep curl. So elbows stay in at the sides, curling up for one. Let those hands down, two, three, good, four, five, Six, seven, and three, two, one. Very good. We're going to go right into triceps. So we're going to do a one arm tricep motion on that right side. Bring the elbow up so you have a fair amount of tension on the band. And then kick that hand straight back for a tricep kickback. One, two, three. Four, good. Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, good. Switch to that left side. We want the same amount of resistance, so you can gauge that, kind of test it out with that first rep. Elbow up, kick that hand back for one, two, good. Three, four, Five, good, six, 
Seven, three more. Three, two, and one, very good. Let's go into a reverse curl. So I'm turning those palms in. Okay, feet stay exactly where they are, standing up straight. Once again, elbows in at the sides. We're gonna bring the hands up for that reverse curl, working a slightly different area of that bicep muscle. One, up, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, very good. So this next one we did a, a, a normal bicep curl. We did a tricep kickback and we just did a reverse curl. We're gonna do basically a reverse tricep kickback. So once again, we're just changing the angle of where we're hitting that tricep muscle. So this time I'm gonna turn my palm forward and I'm gonna kick that hand back so my palm is down at the end of the motion, okay? So it's basically the same start. We want that elbow up, bend at the waist, kick the hand back, palm is facing down at the end of the motion. One, two, good, three, four, five, good, six, seven, three more, squeeze that at the top, three, two, and one, very good, same thing on that left side, here we go. So palm is facing forward to start. Bring that elbow up. Kick that hand back. One, palm facing down at the end of the motion. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, very good. I'm gonna grab the next level of resistance. And we're gonna go back into that second set, starting with the bicep curl. So get ready. Once again, if you're using the two bands, if you're using the ones with the handles and you wanna up the resistance, you can take up the slack by either gripping lower, below the handles, or you can bring your feet wider to take up that resistance, okay? So bicep curl, bring it up, standing up straight, elbows in at the sides, curl up, one, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good. Right side, tricep kick back. This time, palm facing in to start. Okay, and you're gonna see the difference between that one, this one and the reverse. So elbows up, kick it back, palm is facing up to the ceiling at the end of this one. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, and three, Two, one, very good, switch to that left side, here we go, bring the elbow up, kick back, one, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good, reverse curl. Palms are facing in, elbows in at the sides, curl. One, good. Two, three, four, five, got it. Six, seven, and three, two, one, very good, let it down. We're gonna do that reverse kickback. So once again, palm facing forward this time. Bring that elbow up, kick the hand back so the palm is facing down. Squeeze, one, two, good. Three, four, 
Five, you got it. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. Left side, same thing. Elbow up, palm facing forward. Ready? Kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more. Three, two, and one. Great job. I'm going to go up one more level of resistance here. If you guys can join me, if you're able to, on that band, whichever band you're using, or if you have free weights, you can go up a little bit with those weights. If not, absolutely fine as well. Both feet centered. Bicep curl, third set coming up. Here we go. Ready, standing up straight, elbows in at the sides, and curl. One, two, good. Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, very good. Tricep kick back, right side. Remember, palm facing in for this first one. Elbow up, kick that hand back, squeeze. One, two, good. Three, four, squeeze at the top. Five, six, seven, and three, two, one, very good. Really feel that in the back of the arm. Left side, here we go. Bring that elbow up, kick the hand back. One, two, good. Three, four, five, you got it. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, very good. Reverse curl, palms facing in. Get set, remember elbows stay in at the sides. Keep those elbows stationary. And curl, one, two, good. Three, four, five, you got it. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, very good. Reverse kick back. Palm facing forward. Bring that elbow up. Kick that hand back. Palm down at the end of it. One, two, good. Three, four, five, you got it. Six, squeeze. Seven, three more. Three, two, and one, great job. Left side, same thing, we got this. Elbow up, kick it back. One, good. Two, three, four, five, whole way up at the top. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, awesome job. Grab some water. We're gonna get into one for core. I wanna give the arms a little bit of a break, but of course, we're still gonna work those abs, get the arms a little bit in involved with our core twist. See, we know this one. I'm gonna come back to that lower level of resistance. Both feet centered. Let's come right to left, okay? So, right leg, bringing it up and across to the left. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, very good. Switch sides, left to right, down. 
and across. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, good. Seven, three more. Three, two, and one, very good. And I just wanna work that rotator cuff in those shoulders. So with the lightest resistance, I'm bringing the feet just about shoulder width, so I'm bringing them closer together. I'm gonna bring my elbows up, okay? And what we're gonna do is rotate those hands up. One, two, just working that rotator cuff. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, three, two, one. Very good. The idea there is to keep that elbow stationary. Once again, just rotate it from the shoulder. So that's two. We're going to do a third one, another one for rotator cuff, keeping that left hand stationary. We're just going to rotate with the elbow in at the side this time. So once again, rotating from the shoulder, working that rotator cuff muscle, rotating out with that right hand. Okay, so left hand stays stationary, rotate out one, two, you don't want it to be too resistant. Three, these are the small little muscles in the shoulder. Four, five, six. These muscles are very prone to injury. Seven, you really want to focus on. Three, two, and one. Good. Another way might be to say you don't want to neglect them, okay? Because a lot of times these ones get lost in all the other exercises we do. We forget about those ones that really um, kind of like hold things together. And, and certainly we don't want, to, want anything to be injured. So we just want to be mindful of, of, uh, of our bodies, um, big and small. So we're going to go right hand stationary, rotate out to the left. One, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. And you'll feel that. You'll feel it. it starts to it starts to burn a little bit. Let's go back to our second set. It doesn't look like much, but it, it, you really start to feel it on those ones. And usually they say no pain, no gain. So it's definitely working. It's working. Let's go right to left on our core twist. So down, up and across. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one. Great job, left to right. Get set down, up and across. One, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one. Great job, bring those feet a little closer. Okay, you wanna give yourself a little bit of slack for the rotator cuff. Remember, elbows up, rotate those hands up. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, great job, bring it up. We're gonna do that right side. Left hand stays stationary, rotate out. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Switch to that left side. So 
such a small range of motion really starts to, starts to work really well. Right hand stays stationary. Rotate out one, two, three, four, push it, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one. Great job. I'm going to go up one level of resistance. Okay. Core twist, right to left. Third set. Here we go. Ready. Bring it down, up and across. One. Two, good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Great job. Left to right. Same thing. Down and across. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And three. Two. One. Great job. Rotator cuff, this is going to be a little bit more resistance for me. Should be okay though. Elbows up. Rotate those hands. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Great. Right side, here we go. Rotating out to the side. Left hand stationary. Ready and begin. One, two, three. Ooh, feel that already. Four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, great job. Ooh, shake that out. Left side coming up. Same thing. Ready and rotate. One, squeeze with that side. Two, three, control it back. Four, good. Five, six, seven, three more. Three, Two, and one. Great job. Drop that. Grab some water. We just have a few more, then we'll get into our devotion and cool down. Let's bring it back to that lightest resistance, and I say this often. I just like to start with the first set with the lightest amount of resistance, just to gauge it to see where I'm at, because you do have different days, too. You might have a little bit more strength one day, you might have a little bit less one day. Just, so just to see where you're at, and you can always um, move from there, move on from there. But you don't want to go too heavy and, uh, I guess, have the possibility of hurting yourself, really, is the, is the thing to, uh, to understand, to avoid the most. So I'm going to do one where we're sitting down, okay? I'm going to have the band around my feet. And I just want to do a bicep curl from here. Elbows stay up and curl. Okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Keep those elbows up. Six, seven, three, two, one. Good. I'm going to take up the slack even a little bit more. So that one was very similar to what we did that first set of the bicep curl standing. Just to, once again, just a slightly different arrangement, slightly different angle. This one we're going to do elbows in at the sides and we're kicking those hands back. Sim very similar again to that tricep kickback, but we can get two, right, one, and then tricep kickback straight back. So we can bend the knees a little bit, kick those hands back, two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, good, three, two, and one. Great job. I'm going to go up a little bit to that next level of resistance. You can join me if you're able. If not, take up that slack if you just have one band. Okay, once again, gripping maybe a little bit lower with those handles if you have the handle band. Second set bicep curl, gonna go right into it. Here we go. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, good. Lean forward slightly, elbows back. Kick those hands back. One, tricep. Two, you got this. Three, four, five, six, seven, and three, two, one. Great job. I'm gonna stay right here with the resistance. Just take a few seconds for this third set. Okay, bicep curl. I'm gonna grip a little bit lower just to up that resistance. Elbows up, palms up, curl in. One, elbows stay pointing forward. Two, three, good. Squeeze it. Four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, very good. Lean forward slightly, elbows come back. Kick those hands back to work the tricep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, great job. Drop the band. I feel like staying down here, but I will get up eventually. For our devotion today, I was looking at Deuteronomy. And let's grab a little bit of water before we get into that. So I was reading, reading Deuteronomy 6. 6 and 7, and it says, These commandments that I give, give you today are to be impressed, are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. And just prior to that, it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. So then, then he says these commandments. So really, I love that commandment, love the Lord your God, because that's not necessarily a set of rules, because we as humans very much love and enjoy having something told to us and then following that through. I think, I think most of us do, at least. It takes, it takes the question um, out of the scenario it says, okay, I can just do that and I'll get that result. Loving God is a little more obscure, um, but thank God we can know that. We can have knowledge of how we love God in return. But really, the easiest thing to do, the most uh, significant, the thing that brings about the most significant change is understanding who God is. And it's just like any other relationship. If you love someone, you're going to know who they are right? They're going to know who you are. So it's really just being intimate with our Lord, right? Getting closer to him. But I also love these verses that we just read, okay? They're to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down, when you get up. So basically talk about them in all that you do and certainly impress them upon your children. And I was thinking, what's the best way um, so, so it's, a ver- it's a very good uh, practice to talk about something to get your point across, but also when you talk 
to, to, to have your behavior follow alongside of that. Now, on the flip side of that, if you talk about something and you do the opposite, um, you're going to lose people's trust. So let's talk about what we believe. Let's talk about uh, um, our beliefs. And certainly in the Bible, talk about um, following the commandments, impressing, impressing the love of God on our children, but also living it out. So I think that's amazing. So I pray that for myself. I know that I fall short of that uh, so, so often. And it's one of these things where I don't want to go too deep into this because it can get deep. But it's one of those things where almost the more I think about it, the more I try to do that, the harder it becomes. So it really just comes down to trusting the Lord, trusting that he has things under control, but that also that we are a part of his plan and saying like, Lord, just show me the way. Just reveal to me your way and your Bible tells me what to do specifically and in practice. But when it comes to the circumstances of life, I need your help every second of every day. So I just pray that our, our, our speak, our language, our talk can be backed up by our uh, behavior. So let's get into our cool down. Wide stance, we're gonna bend at the waist down. Deep breath in. Let that breath out, hands up over the head, one, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, good, three more, three, two, and one, and let's hold this stretch down here, stretching those hamstrings. Anytime you're stretching, make sure you hold it in a stationary position. Some people tend to bounce sometimes. You just want to hold it completely still where you feel that stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's bring it to the left side. Keep that right leg straight for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides and hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Drop the right foot back. Push the heel down, stretching that calf muscle for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, good. Switch the feet. Push the heel down and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. A few more. Right arm across and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch it up. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Let's do a wide stance. Bring the right arm up and across. Stretch that right side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And switch for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Father, thank you so much for this time, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your truth. I pray that uh, you change our hearts, Father, that your truth today uh, takes, takes a deeper root in us, Lord. Deeper root, Lord. So that's a relative um, that's a relative statement, Lord. So those that are, are unrooted right now, I pray that you take root. I pray for those that have you in their lives, that you become a deeper, deeper part of our lives, Lord. And I pray that as we speak, as we go about our days, that our actions back up our words. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much, and God bless.